Bo Leland that lawmaker tells me that he definitely thinks the state could step in and help address issues that are going on at the Richmond jail, especially if it means improving safety. Meanwhile, we're also learning that the sheriff's office put deputies through a lie detector test to try and find out how information is getting from inside the jail and out to the public. As local officials put a spotlight on safety concerns at the Richmond City Jail, multiple sources tell CBS 6 Sheriff Antoinette Irving's office put at least two deputies through a polygraph test in an effort to find out who's leaking information from inside the jail to the public. When asked if this was an appropriate use of lie detectors, the sheriff's office said, quote, polygraphs are used to establish information during investigations as they may relate to safety and security. There is an increased opportunity for vulnerabilities when information is not held in confidence. They say confidentiality helps reduce violence, vandalism, contraband, and unsanitary conditions. Um, it's bad. It's like, it's an inmate who identified himself as Rashid Holman called CBS 6 from the jail to express his fears about the violence that happens inside, saying he was attacked by an inmate earlier this year. I was stabbed in the throat and in the face. I got stabbed in the face three times and the guys cut my throat. An incident report from February shows an officer found Holman bleeding from his face and another inmate admitted to assaulting him. Today, Holman still worries for his and other safety. It's happening quite often. Somebody's always getting a fight or getting stabbed. Virginia's Board of Local and Regional Jails has been asked by a city official to review the jail for compliance with state regulations. Following three inmate deaths this year, including an overdose, multiple reported assaults on deputies, and a critical staffing shortage. The state needs to step in. It is not just concerning or troubling. It is reaching almost horrific proportions. State lawmaker Joe Morrissey agrees the Commonwealth should help. It's not a bad thing. It doesn't show a weakness. Uh, so I fully support the state pouring its resources in to protect the sheriff, her deputies, staff, and inmates. Big picture idea to make all jails safer. He believes lawmakers should assist local facilities in helping inmates who come in with drug addiction, since many lack the support to meet the need. It's something that is needs drastic uh, addressing right now. Because somebody has committed a crime doesn't mean that they lose all human dignity and that they shouldn't be retreated with respect when they're in jail. Now, in a previous interview, Sheriff Irving told us that she does not believe that a state investigation into her jail is necessary. In fact, she wants local officials to instead focus on combating crime out in the streets so that people don't end up in the jail in the first place.